Hi, I'm Randy McLean, the president of Waypoint Analytics, and I have Bruce Merrifield with me today. Uh, Bruce is uh, uh, part of our company and uh, one of the master tacticians for wholesale distribution uh, best practices. Um, in this video, we want to talk about some of the things that you can do right away that are going to give you a, a return right away. Um, and it's always important not to delay, and there's no point in getting a return next year when you can get a return this afternoon. So, Bruce, um, let's say that um, uh, you just got going, you're t taking a look at, say, your first pr uh, customer profitability ranking. Um, uh, what, what kind of thing would you do with that? You see it and you say, oh, there's this big loser at the bottom, I'm not quite sure what to do next. Sure, sure. Uh, well, for example, uh, in the category of, of uh, uh, best customer, take, you know, wouldn't want to lose them. Uh, so best defense is actually a good offense, take it to the next level. Assumption, because we've been so distracted by a thousand busy customers and all customers are good customers and the next phone call I'm taking it statistically they're all growing nowhere kind of guys because mm -hmm. they're very few wonderful super duper cu customers we're probably under servicing and over pricing them you know and that's why they're wonderfully profitable so isn't that hard to go out and kind of just do an audit through the place because between the silos no one's been looking for weed so we're going to find stuff mm -hmm. so let's go do an audit of your number one account they're like well how do we do it? We'll, just well when you say your number one account is that the like the, the best guy at the top yeah, or, yeah. The, I, or the guy down at the bottom that you really need yeah to no i mean wait we have a, there's a waypoint client that guy's a you know eight million dollar uh, you know paper jan sand distributor kind of guy he's got his own trucks everything else and he had this one big hospital where he is, is is topping off 46 closets every day. It's like a it's like you know way north. I mean, if the business is eight million, that's maybe a million five account. I mean, it's it's a, it's 25 percent of his sales, mm -hmm. and it's profitable. So they've never looked at it this way. They've never gone out and on. I mean, don't we have salespeople? That's what they call these things. So, no, no, I'll show you. So off we go, and we, we, we've got a plan, because I've got a big title on my card. We're, we've got an audience with the, you know, mm. the vice president of supply chain or something uh, at, the okay. end, at the end of the We get there early, and we meet up with the mom and pop who work in the laundry during the day. Mm. And then on the swing shift, they, they top off the, the closets. But we've asked them to get a little exemption to get out early to accommodate the buyer's you mm. know, mm -hmm. agenda at the end of the day. So we're following the couple, and we get to the first closet. And I look, and the closet's one-third full. You know, there's just stuff on the floor. They could have racks. They could California closet this. They could put three times the stuff in there. The big problem is they don't have enough hospital. It's closet space. Well, closet space is such a premium. Look at this wasted thing. Mm -hmm. Mom, Pop, are any other closets this empty? Oh, they all are. More or less, they all got their own historic so story. So, what's the implication of an empty closet at the, so, at the hospital? So, so you you know, first of all, you take a picture of the thing, and then you say, "But if we had it tricked out, what would we put in it?" So, you grab a nurse. So, I grab a nurse. I said, "Do you buy using this stuff?" No, I don't. Who does? So, Nurse Jane comes over, and I say, "Nurse Jane, what you know? What's good about this closet? What's bad? What what do you wish it had?" Oh, well, I've got to run up three floors and steal seat covers out of these closets because we don't get them. And I say to mom and pop, of the 46 closets, how many people get seat covers? 14. Why? We don't know. That's just what we were told to do. Mm -hmm. You know, in the beginning, somebody decided, and it's just don't mess with that type of thing. So it turns, and I said, well, how much time, Nurse Jane, do you spend running around trying to get stuff as opposed to talking to patients? She said, over 50% of my time, I'm running around trying to find an aspirin or get this or whatever. It, they're basically warehouse people is what they are. Uh -huh. So nobody seems to be measuring FaceTime for the nursing staff. They just don't care. These are hidden costs, right? And it, the buyers don't, they don't care. It's not, they, they got their metrics. Oh, their job yeah, is it's just like, get a lower price, you know, or whatever. I mean, they got their metrics. They just do what they do. So, uh, and I asked the second nurse, third nurse, and, and there were some other things that came up. It was a list of about six just dumb, obvious things. Mm -hmm. So we're now visiting the vice president of supply chain, whatever, the, 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 there's a normal person who, this is their boss. And I said, okay, we did an audit, and here's what we found. And this is, these are the benefits to the, to the hospital, you know, if you made these changes. Now, you probably don't have the time and resources. We do. What we'll do is we're willing 
to go and, and, and reconfigure these closets, put racking in with your permission. Mm. We'll take pictures of before and after, put a little binder together. We'll you know, document as best we can and measure the, you know, the benefits and so forth. And then we'll write a summary report that you can look at, edit, change any way you want, and you can sign it. So we, we're happy to give the purchasing people full you know, credit for just because you're giving an audit, it's the way it should be. They're like, oh, okay. So where do you get labor mm. and materials to do this? Well, the distributors, I mean, they could say, we don't have people that do California clause on our payroll. We don't have racks. We don't, it's not in the budget. Mm. You know, we have a budget, you know, it's not in the budget. There's always a million reasons to say you no. Know, could the sales guy who's nominally on the account, could you say, well, you do it type of thing? I said, no, you just figure it out. You make a few phone calls, whatever. You can get some guys out of the warehouse, do a little survey, you know, give them pay moonlight time, mm -hmm. you know, on the weekend, so forth. You know, figure it out. It's a detail, mm. really. Let's yeah. not get caught up in underwear here. It's a detail. So they went ahead and did all the stuff because of this. And the, 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 the survey from the nurses, they sort of tripled the number of items they put in these things. Mm. Their business year over year doubled. So you are there oh my gosh, all our eggs are in one basket. Yeah, well now even more eggs are in this mm. one fantastic basket. You know? yeah. So it's, it, you know, to go from 1.5 million to 3 million in sales in one year's time at yeah. a 5% operating profit, where else in your $8 million business are you gonna get that kind of opportunity? Exactly. So, that, and so for a few thousand dollar investment, a exactly. Bit of time so and trust me, if you, know, if you get a little collective brain imagination and you walk through there, now some people would say, Gee, Bruce, how did you know blah, 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 blah? Well, a lot of, you know, I've done it for a long time, and I've yeah. worked a lot of different channels, and I'm a student of a lot of other kinds of channels. That's, so I take ideas that have solved problems in one channel, and I just put it here, and we tweak, we tweak and adapt it. So yeah, I, I, have to, I have to admit, um, a lot of people are very smart, and they do a lot of innovation, and I have copied um, uh, shamelessly from Procter & Gamble's oh, marketing, sure, sure. from from the way that things work in a grocery store, yeah, yeah. and they've had great application in my business. It's not that I'm some genius, I'm sure, just, sure. I'm just uh, swift enough to spot somebody else doing something and saying, aha, uh -huh, right. I wonder if that would work for us. So the point is, is that you start going down your best accounts and doing a little collective team investigation before you go out there, you do the little audit looking for the weeds between the silos, you will find them. Mm -hmm. And then basically, X budget invest, now, an issue would come up, and they'd say, well, wait a minute, the salesman's getting this amount of money for taking their account. Flatline them. Pay them a salary to take care of the account. You know, when it becomes a total team deal, we still need a sales rep to run around and do whatever they're you know, doing, yeah, perhaps. Yeah. But there's no reason to index them to whatever's going on. I mean, we can't... They're, well, not in a low-margin deal anyway. Exactly. So, so, so uh, everybody's happy. I mean, it worked out fine. Uh, so Good. that's that's the story in core counts. All right. Well, that's a, that's a really terrific um, uh, uh, insight into what can and does happen and how people get this done. So I want to thank you for uh, spending some time with us on this. Uh, we have a lot more of these videos, the War Story series. Where we're talking about different things that um, people have done that have had great success, and we're hoping that they're going to inspire you and give you opportunities to do things as well. So thanks a lot for spending time with us, and we'll see you in the, in the next video. Hi, Bruce Merrifield again. Um, if you found this video helpful, uh, then we have more to share with you. Uh, and the way you can do that is to head over to the APIC conference. Uh, so it's apicconference2cs.com slash profit and sign up for our Innovative Profit Tips series. It's a good collection of materials, all designed to show you how to drive more revenue in the distribution sector without having to increase your sales, although they may go up. Uh, or you can simply text your name and email address to, here's the number, write it down, 480-207-3433, and we'll get you started right away.